2022, what a weird year you were. Hate to see you go, but I'm gonna be honest, I also kind of love watching you leave and I'm looking forward to 2023 while also being scared of it at the exact same time. However, 2022, you weren't all that bad because you gave us a lot of new music, not just with albums, not just with EPs, but just new songs all together. Many, many, many artists released singles this year, just one-off songs they released out into the ether, and there was so much to listen to this year. However, what are my top five songs of the year? Well, let's go ahead and discuss. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well, and hope it continues to go well. If you want to know my top five albums of the year, check out yesterday's video. If you want to know my most anticipated albums of 2023, check out the video we put out two days ago. But for now, these are my top five songs of 2022. Let's get right into it. But first, a couple of stipulations. First off, these songs on my list cannot be covers. They have to be original songs. If you think a cover goes in your top five, by all means, to make it harder for myself, no covers allowed, and I'm limiting it myself to one song per artist, or else a couple people would dominate the list. So, without that, let's go ahead and get right into it. But first, some honorable mentions. No Connection by Cold Knight for Alligators, Screen Time Overload by Royal Coda, Cream of the Crop by Dance Gavin Dance, Six in One Half Minutes by Trey Anastasio, Let Go by Jay Joseph, Yes Mom by Tessa Violet, and Conditions of a Punk by Half-Life that missed the top five by this much. It was really, really close. If it came out earlier in the year, maybe it would have made the top five. However, it was this, this close to making it to the top five. Unfortunately, five other songs beat it out, but still, love Conditions of a Punk, love all these honorable mentions. Kicking us off at number five, we got John Came Home by Benjamin Dakota Rogers. This is a country folk song that came out of left field for me. Typically, I don't listen to that kind of music, but this popped up on my TikTok for you page, and I watched the whole clip in my mind was blown. I instantly fell in love with the song and sent it to my buddy who's in Nashville doing the whole country music thing right now, and he loved it. I sent it to Lovely thinking she's not gonna like it, I just wanna show her a cool thing, but she loved it too, which was so shocking to me. This song is played on a tenor guitar and it has some incredible playing in it. And the whole song is just this revenge story about this guy who comes home whose wife left him for his brother. And it's so, so good. Definitely worth the listen. It also contains one of my favorite lyric lines of the year. The oak tree's so tall, the mountains feel small, they're gonna feel the wrath of my storm. Absolutely love Benjamin Dakota Rogers. Can't wait to see the other stuff he's gonna put out. Charlie Boy was also a strong contender this year, as well as Greyhounds, but John Came Home is so, so good. Next up at number four, we got Made of by Skylar Accord. His other song knew it all along was this close of beating this one out, but Made of is a bop. It is a jam and I dance to this one. I drive to this one. It is so funky and fun. It makes me want to get better at slapping on bass so I can play along with it. It makes me want to get a five string bass so I can play along with it. Is Skylar using all five strings this song? Probably, and I just want to get a five string myself. This song is so, so good, so funky, so fun. Uh, one of the, my favorite reaction videos we did on the channel this year was listening to this, and what else is there to say about it? It's so good. I need to learn how to play it, and that is going to be one of my goals for next year is learn how to play Made Of. New All Along is also really good. I can't wait to see all the other music Skylar's going to release next year because it sounds like he's going to release more, and oh boy, I'm excited. Coming in at number three, we got Lemon Tree by Post Malone. I teased this on yesterday's video saying Post Malone had one of my songs of the year, and Lemon Tree cut me like a knife. This song, it for me, is an out 
and a half and just I remember listening to it for the first cry, a time and crying over as I'm driving to work listening and, and, and ending in the parking lot just like okay calm down Justin and then listening to it immediately again when the work was over crying to it and oh, such a great song I do want to cover this next year because it is so beautiful and a lot of the lyrics I can relate to because who hurt Posty? Who hurt Posty that made him write all this sad stuff? But Lemon Tree, could you be a little less sour and rotten by the hour? My heart's rotten too. Every film I am watch, I'm on the side of the bad guy. So turn around, show me that I'm better. Ah, such, such great writing. Such great writing from Posty. I'm gonna burn it down and grow me something better. Love it. At number two, the News at Nine by Peter McPolins. This song is the only song in the top five that I have seen live thanks to the Icy Tour. And oh my gosh, this song goes hard. The amount of times I cried to this song in particular this year is so, so much. I don't recommend listening to it while you're driving though, because sometimes you will think that there are police sirens right behind you. But this song, goes so so hard and seeing it live also went hard too and seeing peter take us one of his drummer symbol just smashing it with his fist excellent performer and so seeing it live watching the music video and just having that in my constant workout playlist and going hot, like just pushing it every time he gets to that last section is so so amazing and yeah, I just cry that song a lot. It is very, very beautiful. And once again, Peter's another artist who is probably going to release new music next year that I cannot wait for. He is going to be such a big artist, and I love everything he does. So excited to see what Peter does next. Before we get into number one, a little bit of backstory about this one. In November, I was thinking about this list. What is my number one song of the year? Thinking about it, thinking through all these songs. Then Metallica kicks down the door and grabs me by my throat and says, we're your favorite song of the year. Cause yeah. Luxie Turner. It goes so, so hard. The fact it came out of nowhere. The fact it dropped out of nowhere. And like, it's classic Metallica. It's classic 80s a, a British metal invasion stuff. It is so, so good. The music video, excellent. The guitar solo, amazing. James's vocals, oh my gosh. I When he sang Luxie Turnout for the first time, I was like, oh. And like, Hearing them do it live for the first time, yes, they have done it live already. And hearing them do it live, I was very scared they weren't going to be able to do it or James's voice was not going to work. But it worked so well. It worked so well. And like, the, I cannot wait for this new Metallica album, which, spoiler alert, is my most anticipated album of 2023. And man, this song. This song, if I was better at speed picking, I would learn it. And honestly, that might be a New Year's resolution is just get better at speed picking so I can learn more Metallica songs because, ah, oh, it's so, so good. It's so good. I know there was a lot of new music this year. I definitely missed a lot of artists release some new music. So definitely you're going to have a different top five because music is so subjective. We can have these discussions of what your top five is, what you like about these songs, and you got to hear what I like about these songs. So I would love to know your top five songs of 2022 down in the comment section below, as well as for anything for me to check out as well. I have a wide variety of taste in music, as you can see by this list in the honorable mentions. So I'm up for checking out anything. But anyway, guys, thank you so, so much. Is this the final video I'm uploading this year? No, because I'm uploading something tomorrow. Ooh, fun. But anyway, guys, I will see you all then. And until next time, goodbye. And good night, more importantly, have a good day. And I will see you later. <laughs>